With CM Punk set to return to in-ring action at next month's SummerSlam for the first time since January, the star told me on Thursday that he is mentally strong and physically as 100% as he can get at this stage in his career. I got the chance to speak to CM Punk at San Diego Comic-Con where we talked about a variety of topics including how Vince McMahon no longer being associated with WWE was one of the factors that helped illuminate his way back. Check out what he had to say. At what moment did you realize, hey, I want to go back to WWE or I need to go back to WWE? Was there a specific moment for you? No, because it was never like a thing that I was yearning to do. You know, like there was a lot of things that had to happen for the 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 pathway to kind of clear. Uh, the stars had to align. You know, there had to be like a full moon, uh, and a lot of a lot of dominoes fell in order for us to get here. There was never like, a, man, I'd really like to go back. Um, Vince being out of the picture, I think probably. Uh, illuminated the way I, I think that might have been one of the biggest things uh, and that's both ways for everybody who's gonna obviously sensationalize a headline you know it, it, it wasn't me it wasn't him it was just there's a lot of history there and all of a sudden one of us is removed from the equation and it, I think it changed a lot of things he also said that in order to make that moment in Chicago everything had to happen the way that it happened <sighs> nothing I think everything had to happen the way it happened. Everything had to unfold the way it did. Uh, you can, you can say, "Oh, woulda, coulda, shoulda." I could, but honestly, like if if WWE was the place it is today, back then, I never would have left. The, all the all the things that happened, all the, the the arguments and the 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 butting aheads, and you know, the being injured and burnt out and feeling like. People in a managerial role weren't listening. Um, that that doesn't exist in the current atmosphere, you know. Uh, so uh, I, I don't want to waste time thinking, oh, like should have done this. Oh, I I, I could have done this. Uh, I think what makes my return so special is because of all the histories, because of all the time passed, and now we're here, and it's happy moment for me. I'm just grateful to, to be here. He also said August is going to be a very busy month for him when it comes to pursuing acting and movie roles via his new talent agency representation in Paradigm. While admitting he is no Dave Bautista, John Cena, or Dwayne Johnson, CM Punk said he just wants to do fun stuff with cool people and that there are plenty of wrestlers that are interesting individuals that could make the transition to Hollywood depending on how ambitious they are. He closed out by saying that the whole reason he's able to do TV and movies is his current WWE schedule that allows him the freedom and flexibility to do other things and satisfy that creative itch. Continuing to troll CM Punk ahead of their SummerSlam match, Drew McIntyre took things up a notch on Thursday. McIntyre tweeted a new photo of himself and AEW wrestler Jack Perry captioning it, with, it's a real photo, cry us a river. Drew McIntyre's joke played off the friction that existed between CM Punk and Jack Perry in AEW. The two had a backstage altercation at All In last year that ultimately led to CM Punk returning to WWE after getting fired by AEW. The issues between CM Punk and Jack Perry stemmed from CM Punk rejecting a spot using glass that Jack Perry wanted to do on AEW Collision. While facing Hook at All In 2023, Jack Perry looked in the camera and said, You know what this is right here, real glass, go cry me a river. Punk then confronted Jack Perry backstage after the match. AEW aired footage of the CM Punk-Jack Perry altercation on Dynamite this April. McIntyre is facing CM Punk at WWE SummerSlam on Saturday, August 3rd. In storyline, they have been heated rivals for months. Drew McIntyre has repeatedly trolled Punk on social media during their program, including bringing up Punk's real-life rivalry with Coke Cabana in a tweet earlier this week. A torn triceps has kept Punk out of action since January, but he's now been cleared to return to the ring. Seth Rollins will be the special guest referee for CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam.
Drew has since deleted the post where he was pictured with Jack Perry. While thought of as a long shot when first brought up, the 2023 dream of John Cena to bring WWE WrestleMania to London may be closer to becoming a reality after all. Several news outlets reported Thursday that London Mayor Sadiq Khan had a surprise meeting Thursday afternoon at City Hall with WWE CEO Nick Khan and Chief Content Officer Paul Triple H Levesque about the possibility of bringing the annual two-night event to London for the first time ever. The mayor has been public in his desire to bring major international sports events to London, of which WrestleMania was included. He posted on X about the desire in April, to which Levesque replied, Let's talk. He told the Daily Mail that it's exciting to be working with the WWE team. The meeting was really productive and talks will continue about how they could turn their ambition into a reality. The next WrestleMania is scheduled for Las Vegas with Indianapolis, Indiana set to host the big event at an undetermined date. Sadiq Khan and his team are working hard on positioning London as a sport and entertainment capital of Europe. Nick Khan added that there is a lot that needs to be discussed further, but that they both share the same ambition as the mayor of London does in trying to bring a standout WWE Premium Live event to London. One of those items that needs to be discussed further is likely a site fee, which has been a publicly stated goal of TKO management on both investors' calls and speaking events. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has also publicly stated their desire to host WrestleMania as their annual commit to WWE for two PLEs a year plus them in the driver's seat. Cena posted a tweet on Friday expressing his excitement that WrestleMania could possibly come to London. His in-ring career will be over by then, but John Cena vowed that he would attend the show as a fan, saying the city of London and all the UK has supported WWE through thick and thin. I try to minimize using the word deserve, so I will use more appropriate terms. I've said it before and stand by it. In my mind, London has earned a chance to host WrestleMania. I won't get to compete when it happens, but I will be there as a fan for sure. John Cena has announced that 2025 will be the final year of his in-ring career. He'll have a retirement tour that lasts from January through December, with WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas next April being his last WrestleMania. When Money in the Bank took place in London last year, John Cena made a surprise appearance at the event and cut a promo advocating for London to host WrestleMania. In other news, WWE's Chief Content Officer Paul Triple H Levesque has commented on the possibility of Brock Lesnar returning turning to the company. In a new interview filmed in London with Daily Mail Sport, Triple H was asked how close Brock Lesnar is to a potential WWE return, saying you'd have to ask Brock Lesnar that. Brock does his own thing. He's up in Canada, I'm sure, watching his kids play hockey and enjoying life. If and when he decides that he would like to do something, we'd be open to the conversation, but we'll see. Brock Lesnar has not appeared on WWE programming since before he was implicated in Janelle Grant's lawsuit against Vince McMahon and WWE, where a quote, former UFC heavyweight champion was alleged to have received explicit images and an explicit video of Grant at McMahon's behest. And McMahon is alleged to have offered Grant to have sex with Brock as part of him signing a new contract. After being implicated in the lawsuit, Brock was pulled from the 2024 Royal Rumble, as well as being removed from two WWE video games. Switching gears over to some AW conversation, Mercedes Monet and Britt Baker are officially set to clash at AW All In. During AEW's panel at San Diego Comic Con on Thursday, Tony Khan confirmed that Mercedes Monet will defend the TBS Championship against Britt Baker at Wembley Stadium on Sunday, August 25th. The two have been feuding since Baker returned at Forbidden Door last month. Before the match was made official, Mercedes repeatedly turned down Baker's challenge for All In. She again said no to the challenge on AEW Dynamite this past week. On the episode, former NWA Women's Champion Camille arrived in AEW and aligned herself with Mercedes. Camille attacked Baker and laid her out with a torture rack slam. An angle then took place during the AEW Comic Con panel where Mercedes and Camille, dressed as Batman villains Poison Ivy and Bane, confronted Baker. That led to Tony Khan announcing Mercedes, Monet versus Brett Baker for the All In pay per view. Take a look at the confrontation. That sex, I've been vocal for what, five, six years? That's always been one of my dream matches. And now 
it's personal because she's in my company, she's in my home, claiming to be the face of my community. <laughs> Darby Allen has earned a future AEW World Championship match. Darby won the Royal Rampage Battle Royal on Friday's taped AEW Rampage episode, earning a shot at the AEW World Championship at Dynamite Grand Slam, set for Wednesday, September 25th. Current AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland is set to defend the title against 2024 Owen Hart Foundation Tournament winner Brian Danielson at All In next month. And Darby is likely next in line for the winner of that bout. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online for plenty more pro wrestling conversations.